The prison officer has described how he fended off repeated stabbing blows to the head after being floored in an alleged terror attack. Neil Trundle said he was set upon by inmates Brustham Zayamani, 25, and Bars Hopton, 26, in a store cupboard at HMP White Moor in Cambridgeshire. The prosecution has alleged Zayamani, who has a previous conviction for plotting an attack on a soldier, and Hopton launched the attack for terrorist purposes. They are on trial at the Old Bailey accused of the attempted murder of Mr. Trundle. Jurors heard Zyamini has admitted assaulting the two women, a prison officer and nurse, when they tried to help Mr. Trundle on the morning of January 9. Giving evidence on Wednesday, Mr. Trundle said he had not had any problems with Zyamani before. He said, there had been no confrontation or crosswords, no indication that there was going to be any issues between us. Mr. Trundle said he went to unlock a store cupboard after Zayamani asked him if he could replace a broken spoon and was followed by the defendants. I could see one in my peripheral view to the side as I unlocked the door, he said. Before I knew it, I was on the floor on my back. I wasn't sure how I ended up on the floor. I did not know what position I was in, but I was on the floor, and I was being attacked. Mr. Trundle, who has been a prison officer for more than 14 years, said he raised his arms to protect his face and called for help. He told the court, I felt pressure on my body, as if people were lying on my body. I could feel stabs, especially to my head at this precise moment. I could still feel little bits of stinging. I did not know who was on me, or how many was on me, but I did notice when that person or persons left. I noticed when they came back again and attacked me a second time. I did not see any weapons. I could feel blows coming down on me. During the attack I was laying on my back and I was trying to kick out. The kicking out made it more difficult for them, he added. I did not realize how bad the damage was to myself until I went to the hospital and looked in the mirror. Describing the attack, Mr. Trundle said, they were focusing on my head, my neck, or vital organs. They had ample opportunity to stab me in the leg or kick me in the leg, but they just carried on with the top half. Jurors heard the prosecution's cases that the pair shouted Allahu Akbar during the attack on Mr. Trundle. The officer gave evidence he did not hear the attack as saying anything, and added, I was too busy trying to survive. He told jurors he had suffered multiple cuts to his chest, neck, shoulder and arms and still bore scars the attack. Before the incident, he claimed he had noticed abnormal behavior from the pair, including that they slept under their beds. He added, Mr. Hopton follows in the footsteps of Mr. Zaimani. Exercise yard, always together in each other's pockets for a couple of months leading up to this. The prosecutor previously told jurors Hopton had registered his Islamic faith at the prison, but has been corrupted into extremism and radicalized. Under cross-examination, Mr. Trundle was asked if there was any anti-Muslim feeling at White Moor in the wake of an attack by one of its former inmates, Usman Khan, who killed two Cambridge students in London Bridge. The witness replied, There would be a lot of emotion for staff who knew the students killed on that day. 
I did not really know who the students were. It's a sad thing that happened and is one individual who has done that. It's as simple as that. Mr. Trundle denied he had it in for Hopton or ever asked him why he was wearing a dress. Prison officer Georgina Ribbitson told jurors Zaimani had also asked her to fetch a spoon from the store cupboard the day of the attack, which gave her a gut feeling. She said, It just made me feel uncomfortable. It made me feel like it was something I did not want to do. Later when she heard the alarm, she said, I saw two men standing in front of me, Mr. Zaimani and Mr. Hopton, both holding weapons. I could just see they had something in their hands and were holding it with clenched fists. They were really hyped up and full of adrenaline, quite intimidating. I put my hands out and just said, whoa. Mr. Zaimani tried to step forward, so I put my hands to my belt. Mr. Zaimani punched me in the face. It was as hard as he could. It was really like a big shock, mostly. I fell to my knees. The court heard she noticed Nurse Jane Kowals on the floor looking shocked when she got up. She said, I could feel the blood dripping down my face. I did not know how bad my injuries were. I feared for my life. Zaimani and Hopton have denied the attempted murder of Mr. Trundle. They are also accused of an alternative charge of wounding with intent, which Hopton has admitted. Zaimani has admitted assaulting Mazibitsen and Ms. Kowals. The trial continues.